The launch of DeepSeek R1 has changed the game yet again, and it offers a lot of opportunities for leverage in your life and in your business. I've started four businesses in the last 20 years. I've employed dozens of people and worked with some of the largest tech companies in the world. And in that time, I have thought about leverage a lot. Today, I've condensed everything I've learned about leverage into four DeepSeek workflows. I'm excited to share these with you along with how I'm using them in my current business. DeepSeek has some significant advantages over other AI models, but it also brings with it some significant risks. We're gonna get into all that today. As Archimedes says, give me a place to stand and a Diet Coke large enough and I'll move the world. First off, what's so special about DeepSeek R1? Well, DeepSeek R1 is the first freely available reasoning model. And a reasoning model is different than your standard chat GPT type of AI in that it thinks. Rather than just replying to a question, it deliberates internally about how best to solve a problem. In fact, DeepSeek is unique in that you can see exactly what it's thinking. OpenAI's reasoning model is called O1, although they're rolling out the O3 model very soon. Almost everything we're gonna do today you can also do in ChatGPT's O1 model. The point is that this thinking or this reasoning allows these tools to solve much more complex problems. This allows us to use DeepSeek to build leverage in new ways. Leverage is just a fancy way of saying doing more with less. And it was always a little bit of a mystery to me until I heard Naval Ravikant describe it in these four big categories. This includes content or scaling your network. It includes code or systems thinking. It includes labor and it includes capital. This is going to act as our blueprint today for all of the different ways we can build leverage in our lives and in our business. So on the topic of content, which is basically scaling your network and scaling your reach, Naval says this, every single tweet costs nothing and has the potential of reaching the entire world. It's the best lottery ever made. So whether you're marketing a product or looking to scale the reach of your personal brand, sharing unique and helpful things online can be a massive point of leverage. And other AI models are good for creating social media and even short blog posts, but eventually you're going to want to create something more longer form. This can be helpful for building your authority or increasing your conversions like email opt-ins. These long form pieces can be great for SEO and they can even be things you might think about selling. And other models really fail when it comes to long form content. So jumping into the cheat sheet, I make one of these for each video that I create. It includes all the prompts and a whole lot more uh, than we're going to be able to have time to go through today. These are available to my Patreon supporters. There's a link in the description if you're interested in that. But I'm going to start by creating a long form detailed guide here inside of DeepSeek. If you're new to DeepSeek, all you've got to do is go to DeepSeek.com and click this start now. Once you're in there, you'll see a screen like this. You're going to need to click this R1 to turn on the reasoning model. This is the thing that everybody's so excited about these days. I'm asking it here for a 4,000 word guide on how to start a food truck business. This has been a topic of discussion in my family. family member wants to explore this, so I thought, why not have DeepSeek create a detailed guide on how to get this done? And you can see it thinking right here. This is one of the advantages of DeepSeek, being able to see its thought process. ChatGPT01, you can see hints at what it's thinking, but uh, DeepSeek, you can actually see what it is thinking uh, in a detailed way, which can be helpful if it kind of goes off uh, and on a tangent that you don't like, the response isn't great. You can look back into its thought process and figure out why did it come up with that and course correct that way. Look at that, spy nicely on your rivals. There's definitely some interesting character to this large language model. And look at that, it has created a pretty stunning long form guide to starting a food truck business. It didn't quite get to the 4,000 words that I asked for. ChatGPT 01 Pro can definitely handle that a little bit better, but it did give us quite a lot more than your regular ChatGPT 4 can deliver. And it's really thought out. In addition to creating long longer form content, these new reasoning models are great at holding a lot more in their memory. So you might be able to go out and find a bunch of resources and load them in to these, copying and pasting them in along with your prompts. It can hold and store all of that and generate uh, some great content based on lots of different stuff in its working memory. Another deep seek advantage here is there are less guardrails than in ChatGPT. So I've always struggled to get these 
large language models to create anything humorous. And I had a major breakthrough with DeepSeek when I asked it to act like uh, Richard Pryor and create an additional bit to one of his uh, specials. Here's that prompt. I asked it to please create a new bit for Richard Pryor's Live on the Sunset Strip. And it went through and created what I would consider to be the funniest thing I have seen AI create ever. And I think that's because the guardrails that are on ChatGPT um, don't really exist in the same way on DeepSeek. So that's one major advantage. So there you have a quick workflow for creating longer form content that'll help you build authority and leverage your reach online as you are sharing different things out to the world. My current business, the Blazing Zebra YouTube channel, I decided to focus obviously on creating content first. In my other businesses, I always started with generating as much revenue as I could first. And then I found it was very hard to scale my messages online. I was so busy serving clients that it became very hard for me to do my own marketing. I reversed that and have put this uh, leverage of content in the very first step of my new business. So that's something you want to think about if you're starting a new endeavor. If you can start with that marketing component rather than thinking about that later on, I think that it sets you up for much more success down the road. But remember, your competition has access to these AI models as well. So you're going to need more than just the leverage of content to really win in this future world of AI. And that's where we get into systems thinking and coding. I love this quote from Ray Dalio. He says, at a high level, you're just setting goals and building machines to help you achieve them. I get it. If you're not a coder, you can still start to think in terms of systems and use DeepSeek to help you build some code that can help you in your day-to-day -day life. This can be a massive source of leverage. Back in the cheat sheet here, just expanding on that content example, we can use these tools to help us build a solid process for our content creation. So I'm going to grab this prompt here and ask it to help me create that for this food truck business. And there you go. This has created a very robust and very thought through, reasoned through plan for creating uh, our content. So while the normal large language models like ChatGPT4 might be the ones that we use to create our little social media posts or our short form blog posts, these reasoning models like the DeepSeek R1 can help us build the process behind all of that stuff in a very thought through way. This can help us shift into becoming a better and better systems thinker. There's a lot more in the cheat sheet all about that, but just thinking about mapping out your daily routine and all of the different processes that you run through on a daily basis, then getting into a weekly basis and so forth. And of course, if you do have some interest in coding, these new reasoning models like the R1 can really outperform the normal AI tools that you're used to. I use this prompt here to just create a very basic CRM inside of another tool called Replit. You can see it not only generated the code here, but it also gave me instructions on exactly what to do with this code. And here's what that looks like inside of Replit, just a very basic CRM, no frills that I can continue to add functionality to. So there's a ton of little coding projects that I have on my list to help me get through my day to day in a much faster, more efficient, more productive way. This made me think of another quote from Naval where he says, there are an army of robots freely available. It's just packed in data centers because of heat and space efficiency, use it. Naval said that way before this new revolution of AI tools came out. So it is much truer today than ever before. So where the content was sort of the foundation of my current new business, these systems are the framing of the house that I am putting together if we want to use that metaphor. Some people have commented on my past videos, why would you go through all this trouble of making these automations just to create one email? And I think that they're missing the point that I am not just creating that one email, but I'm creating a system that builds emails for me. So that is one piece of the puzzle that I can just start and keep building this machine that is Blazing Zebra. So now we've covered how to use DeepSeek to increase our leverage when it comes to content creation and scaling our network. We've also talked about how to use it to cultivate a systems mindset and to create code that can scale all of what we do. Now I want to get into how we can leverage this other category of labor. So if you have uh, an assistant, if you have a department or uh, really any sort of resources there, when you've generated that systems mindset, you are just one step away from rolling that out to your organization. Another point
point when it comes to leverage that Naval talks a lot about as he says you should delegate or avoid tasks that are not the best use of your time and of your skills. So back in the cheat sheet here, we can use this prompt to create our standard operating procedures to help us become better managers, better delegators of the things that are not suitable for our time and our skills. Let me show you this one. I'm asking it to create a standard operating procedure to prep our food truck for an upcoming festival. And I love watching it think for some reason that never gets old. This more than anything makes me feel like there is some actual real intelligence going on inside these large language models. And look at that. It has created a beautiful standard operating procedure, SOP, for getting the food truck ready for this festival, including different roles, checklists, and tons more. So this can really help you be a better manager, a better delegator, and a better, you know, systems thinker when it comes to your entire team. But not only that, if you can train your team on how to use these AI models, you are going to be uh, really set up for success. When you think about it, if you have a junior level person that knows how to use AI, that is a lot like having an expert on your hands that can really scale and do a lot of things. I've been very excited training uh, someone who helps me with these videos. Nikki, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I know you're watching this video. Training those more junior level people on how to use these tools can really, really be a, a massive point of leverage. Not only that, you can ask your team or your junior level people to teach themselves certain skills uh, that can be useful in their job. I've got a video all about using these models to learn any skill. I'm going to link to that right now. And that's something you might want to share with your team uh, so that they can learn and pick up new skills uh, on their way to AI mastery and become a better, more efficient, more productive team member. And the deep seek advantage here is that it's currently the easiest reasoning model to access. So this may be a good starting place to get your team using it without much uh, cost up front. But like all things with DeepSeek, it comes with a risk. I was actually chatting with DeepSeek to prepare for this, and DeepSeek brought up the risk of, should a Chinese-developed AI really influence global reasoning patterns? So that's what DeepSeek itself said to me, which I found pretty interesting. Now we're moving from the content systems and labor sections into the section of capital as a leverage point. And on the topic of deploying capital, Naval says that capital is a trickier form of leverage to use than the others, but it scales very well. And this can go in a lot of different directions here, from personal investment to business expansion, etc. So I'm just going to copy and paste this prompt into DeepSeek R1, and I'm tweaking it a little bit to say, suggest a framework for evaluating investing funds into my new food truck business, including how to assess location, renting versus owning, etc. And there we have a framework for evaluating investing in this food truck business and how best to allocate whatever capital that we have here, thus leveraging that in the most effective ways possible. This is the type of thing where reasoning models like DeepSeek R1 really come in handy as they can think through all these different options and give you some ideas on what the best course of action might be. I know of people that are using these to really help them think through all sorts of complicated investing decisions. So if that's uh, up your alley, this may be a good place to go to think through whatever decision you're trying to make when it comes to investing uh, and even use it to kind of invert and look at where you're wrong and critique your ideas so that you uh, know all of the risk going into whatever investing situation or whatever investment you're looking to make. You know, as far as my company goes, I feel like I've got the foundation of content there. I'm building out the frame of all the different systems and I'm training my team on uh, how to use these tools, adding that labor. Once I have that all intact, I may think of, uh, you know, reinvesting either my own money or looking for investment opportunities to begin to scale that. And I will definitely be using tools like DeepSeek R1 to help me make all those decisions. Awesome. You made it through all the different ways you can use DeepSeek to gain leverage in your life and in your business. And you are now on the path to AI mastery. You're growing right alongside these large language models from just 
the regular question and answer type model like ChatGPT is to these more thinking reasoning models like the DeepSeek R1. The number one investment I've ever made across all of my businesses has been investing in learning. So if that's of interest to you and you want to dive even deeper into DeepSeek, consider checking out my Patreon. This cheat sheet is packed. It has well over 10 times what we were able to get into, including more prompts about allocating capital, training your team on how to use AI and build new skills, other prompts about content creation and uh, getting that uh, systems mindset, including tons more about creating simple code, simple scripts, simple software programs that can help you in your day-to-day. -day. That's all in there, along with over 100 other cheat sheets. All that's instantly available to anybody who joins. I've got some coaching options in there as well. So check that out if you get a chance, but these points of leverage are only valuable if you've got a good overarching strategy. So that's the video I want you to check out next is all about how to use AI to build powerful strategies. There's a link to that right here. I will see you on that video. Make your dreams come true.